Hey folks, today is Friday, May 12th, 2023. As usual, my name is Jake Baldino, here to talk about all the video game news that has been going on this week. Uh, did you know that as of yesterday, Skate 3 is now 13 years old? Enjoy that. Uh, let's just jump right into the news. Sorry, you good? <laughs> Jumping into the news, uh, happy Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Day. If you celebrate, uh, I've been up all night playing it. I already got like 10 hours in that sucker. I'm exhausted, so bear with me. But we're going to be putting out a Before You Buy video soon. Unfortunately, we don't get these games early, so it's going to be more of like a first impression style thing. But I got a lot to say already, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. But uh, let's just jump into the news. The first thing we got to highlight, you may have seen this headline or you may have seen it where it kind of popped up on Reddit. Uh, a new Grand Theft Auto 6 leak, maybe even inferring a release window. Well, no, sorry. Uh, it seems like a lot of people on Reddit were excited to have some sort of just inkling of a rumor or, or news or anything, but unfortunately, this one was pretty quickly debunked. Uh, what it essentially was, was somebody found a letter that was sent to a place in Miami uh, for billboard advertising. As you guys know, Rockstar is pretty big on the billboard advertisements, uh, but thanks to some eagle-eyed people on both Reddit and GTA forums, they were pretty able to pretty quickly debunk this in terms of the time frame not lining up. Just the way it was written, everything about it uh, just didn't line up, so you could check that one off as debunked. Interestingly enough, it seems like a lot of people found that the letter may or may not have been written by chat GPT so that's where things are going you're gonna have to worry about that more and more what was that I heard just a, a faint uh yeah. yeah now with that weird story out of the way uh, it wouldn't be a week on this show without a game delay and this week unfortunately it's amnesia the bunker yeah this was releasing towards the end of May uh, but now it's been pushed just a little bit up to June, uh, actually June 6th, 2023. So you don't have to wait too much longer. And shout out to Frictional Games for putting out a video and being pretty transparent and upfront about this. Just saying that the game is ready to go, it's all set, but they've been having some weird isolated instances of some crashing. So they wanted to delay it and just really figure that shit out. Uh, and that is definitely, in, in, in my opinion, them reading the room with the state of PC releases, game releases lately. Uh, you know, whether they're trying to score goodwill points or really actually put the work in to get this game technically rock solid, you gotta commend it either way, I guess. And in my opinion, uh, there's a lot riding on this because I think this Amnesia game looks pretty cool. Looks like a good kind of, I don't wanna say return to form, but like, you know, frictional game has bounced around, tried different things, so. I'm excited to see how this one does go, and hopefully now it doesn't crash. Now the spicy rumors for Mortal Kombat 12. Man, I'm, I'm really into this shit, sorry. Uh, essentially, uh, Netherrealm and Ed Boon have been teasing uh, a new announcement for a while, uh, kind of, uh, first there was a thing involving like sand and an hourglass, now the newest teaser we got this week is a ticking clock. Uh, with l faint imagery behind the clock, but eagle-eyed people has observed that the clock is ticking 9, 10, 11, Mortal Kombat 9, 10, 11, and then when it jumps to 12, it doesn't jump to Mortal Kombat 12 like we expected, it goes back over to 1. <sighs> Which could be really cool because if you think about it, at the end of the last game, Liu Kang like did kind of like a, a Dragon Ball fusion with Raiden, and like the, after defeating Kronos, like there's this whole like timeline upset thing, and we could essentially be having like almost a full reboot of Mortal Kombat and a back to basics original type thing. I like that. I think that's pretty exciting. I think that they have exhausted uh, all that they could out of what they've been doing for the last couple of games. And I just say this as somebody who's excited. Like I just like the Mortal Kombat characters, the lore, but also I really like how Nether Nether Realm uh, presents these games. They're actual single player campaigns in fighting games with good story, good combat. I don't know. That being said, there's a bunch of other rumors swirling around, including uh, it's only going to be on the newer gen platforms, and also there's going to be like you know the like weird add-in characters uh, specifically. The rumor right now is Homelander and Peacemaker, which if that's true, take it with a grain of salt, but ho yeah, holy shit. Ed Boon also went on Twitter saying, wait, you guys thought we didn't say we were teasing a new Mortal Kombat game. Like he was being cheeky. I don't know what his deal is because just a couple of months ago, like Warner Brothers confirmed like, yeah, new Mortal Kombat game coming soon. I assume that that's what they're talking about here. But if it is something completely different, Happy to be surprised. Still, 
Mortal Kombat's cool. I like the games that these people make. So whatever it is, let's go. Hopefully with Summer Game Fest and all the like kind of E3 things happening in June, uh, we'll get some juicy news. Now, uh, in terms of like having a bingo card and not having things on it or whatever, uh, definitely did not see this. Game Freak, the people behind the Pokemon games, are teaming up and making something completely new. Uh, they're actually teaming up with uh, the publisher Private Division. As you probably know, uh, Private Division's parent company is Take-Two, so essentially it's Game Freak teaming up with Take two. Uh, and that's really interesting, actually, specifically with Private Division, because I like a lot of the games that they've published, specifically uh, Roller Drome, the Outer Wilds. They do try different stuff. They have some misses, but they have a lot of hits. And this new thing is apparently an action adventure game, and it's codenamed Project Bloom. That's really all we have. We have some art. Some people are like going on Samurai game or something like that. I think it's too early to tell. Either way, keeping my eye on this because it's nice to see them doing something totally different. It's a while before we're going to see this, by the way. Uh, Game Informer notes that this new IP is expected to launch during uh, the fiscal year 2026 for Take Two. So that's gonna be a minute, but it could be a big deal considering the pedigree of Game Freak or, you know, a lot, a lot of people have things to say about the newer Pokemon games, but still, something different, I'm all for it. Oh, and in other news, Insider Gaming is reporting that there is a full-fledged new Call of Duty sequel now dropping this year, and it's going to be called, guess, guess what this new Call of Duty is going to be called? The, this, the, the sequel, the new Call of Duty. Throw it out there, what do you think it's going to be called? Uh, Take a big guess. Modern Warfare, again, three. Yeah, that's, uh, yep, you nailed it. What do you want, a cookie? You got cookies? No. Yep, apparently it's Modern Warfare 3, and if this rumor and inside source stuff is correct, uh, we're going to start seeing little news trickle out about it soon with like closed beta, all those types of things with a full release at some point this fall and possibly November. Breaking news, I guess, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Uh, but in other news for my PC gaming friends, uh, the Asus ROG Ally is now starting to be out in the wild. Uh, reviews have dropped for this. Pre-orders are up. This is the Steam Deck competitor. Uh, this runs Windows, so you're going to be able to do a couple of different things on it. The reviews have been fairly decent. The thing is gonna cost like 700 bucks and it's gonna be out mid-June, like June 13th. This seems like this might be the one. I've tested a lot of Windows-based small PC handheld devices before. Some of them are pretty crappy, but I think Asus might be onto something here. So if you're looking for an alternative and you got a bunch of money to burn, this might be it. Also, it's nice to see uh, Valve and Steam come out on social media and be like, yay for them, good job, because, you know, rising tide floats all ships. And in this, I agree. That was it, right? Rising tide floats all, rising tide floats all ships. I think it's boats, but yes. Rising boats float all ships. Rising. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I think that's what it is. <laughs> oh, and another news, Hollow Knight Silk Song. Not coming out yet. Sorry, kids. Uh, yeah, they took to social media to just say, hey, we were expecting this thing in the first half of 2023, but now that's not the case. We're still working on it. We want to make it the best game it can be, so keep your eyes peeled. That's it. Not really an update, but at least them coming out and saying, hi, we're still alive. That helps. But take all the time you need. As you know, the Shigeru Miyamoto quote, what is it? Delay your game, suckers, because if you put it out too quick, it's going to suck ass. So don't do that. Delay your game and it'll be good. That's the quote. Two cool things I wanted to share. Uh, all the stories I talk about, they're all gonna be linked in the description down below, but two th cool things you just check out. Uh, the first is a video from our friends at GameSpot who have kind of overhauled their whole video formats. Uh, and they have a really good video breaking down why maybe you should reconsider Ghost Recon Breakpoint, a game that I totally wrote off. I wasn't really into it when I played it, but uh, this describes mods and the community and playing it a certain way and actually making a pretty solid tactical third person shooter. It's a really interesting watch, even if you don't play it. I just really appreciated this video. Also, a small indie game has popped up on Steam. Uh, just a listing and some images and video. Uh, no release date or anything yet, but this is called Mouse. And essentially, this is almost like Cuphead, but if it was a first person shooter. I mean, look at this. It seems like it's pretty early on, but like, Heavily inspired, 
really cool, creative stuff. I love people trying different things. You got to commend them for that. You know, we're probably not going to see more from this in a while, but I am absolutely keeping my eye on this. I also like that it's kind of gory. Kind of reminds me of Conker's Bad Fur Day, but anyway, I digress. I've been talking about Conker's Bad Fur Day a lot this week. I talked about it on the Friends Per Second podcast, which that goes live on Saturday. If you want to check that out, that'll be linked in the description as well. But uh, we also got to talk PlayStation news. Last week, we spent a lot of time talking about Xbox news and everything going on with Big Phil and all that shit. Uh, But the PlayStation news right now, uh, a lot of the rumors are chalking up to it seemingly being the very end of May or the start of June for a big PlayStation showcase. Now, we've talked about this one for a while. Uh, Seemingly, Sony holding on to a bunch of chips to finally lay out at some point this summer. And it seems like it might be the case with Jeff Grubb uh, stating it is the last week of May. And then Andy Robinson from Video Games Chronicle, who also usually has a really good track record with sources and stuff, saying last week of May, first week of June. Also saying that that might be where the Konami stuff is present with Jez Corden, uh, also who has a pretty good track record, saying that he has heard similar things with Konami apparently inking a deal exclusively with PlayStation to have stuff like Metal Gear, Castlevania, what have you. So that leads to a lot of questions. This could be a big PlayStation showcase. And if Konami makes a face, is it going to be developed internally? Uh, Is it going to be Konami farming out to third-party studios? Is it going to be Konami just making a deal and giving PlayStation more control of these things? We don't know for sure, but I can just say that I am not prepared for Metal Gear Solid in the modern age, in the modern gaming discourse. I just want to take my Metal Gear Solid 1 and just and just go home. This is my sealed copy. Just leave us alone, please. Let us just never take this from me, please. Ooh, it's not even the greatest hits right? No, man. OG, Ooh. baby. Ooh. Sorry. Sorry, not flexing. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that's the news this week. We got to go back to making a bunch of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom videos. So yeah, let me know what you think about all the news this week. Do you think we're going to get some PlayStation news at the end of uh, May, early June? What are you expecting? What do you expect from Konami announcements? But what do you expect from just PlayStation proper? Along with that, when do you think we're going to see Hollow Knight Silk Song? <laughs> are you going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom this weekend? Or are you going to be playing something else? Let us know. We always do that pinned comment down there. So reply in that comment thread what you're playing uh, for our research so we know what kind of videos to make. No sponsor this week as well. Just you guys. Thank you for li- listening to those sponsors, clicking on them, skipping them, whatever you do. Thank you for being here. Uh, I'll be in the comments. We'll be in the comments as much as possible. Things get a little crazy though. So be sure to find me on Instagram at Jake Baldino, my other YouTube channel. Jake Baldino, just search my name. I come up, I talk about other stuff. But clicking the like button helps us. We're here every Friday for you, just yapping about the news. So thank you. Have a great weekend. Be safe. I'm Jake Baldino. Pizza's on me.